Hey guys, it's Paige at Cover Books, and I'm here to do an IMM. So my face is a little bit red because it's hot out, really hot out, and I just got back from shopping. Uh, and I decided to start my book haul a little bit early because I have a lot of books so far, and I know I'm going to get, I'm hopefully going to get some mail during the week, so um, I just wanted to start now because I'm not going to take all this stuff with my, to my grandpa's with me. So anyways, if you can't hear me, turn the volume up because my air conditioner's on, and it's so hot, and I'm mad turning it off. So I'll start with the stuff I got first. Um... I got money for babysitting, so I went to Walmart with my friends and decided to pick up Breathe by Abby Glines. Um, I just went and, I wasn't expecting to get this, I just went and looked and I found this and I'm like, oh, I've been wanting to read this for a really long time and I love these covers, so I just grabbed it because it would be a lot more expensive at Barnes & Noble. It would be, uh, well not a lot more, it would be $9.99, it's $8.49, so not much, but still I wanted to grab it. This is the first book in her um, uh, Sea Breeze series. So yeah, I'm excited to read that. So as you guys know, well if some of you know if you watch my videos, yesterday, Saturday was my birthday party. Actually no, you're not going to be watching this today. So I got last Saturday was my birthday party. And so I got money and I decided to go book shopping. So I got a Target gift card and the first thing I got at Target was I got more than just a book that I got. I'm going to show you the book. And I'm so excited for it. It's so beautiful. It's The Moon and More by Sarah Dessen. Oh, and I got it 20% off of the $15.99. And it was, oh my god, this is so beautiful, this book. Like, look at this. It's purple, and it's beautiful, and I just want to eat it up. Like, I just want to go read it right now. I'm kind of bummed out about this dust jacket being a little bit bent, but oh well, I'll deal with it. It's so, it's like a buttery cover. Uh, it's so amazing. I love it. My dad, like, almost tried to kill me because he has, I have so many books. My dad doesn't understand that I have an addiction. So he's like, what? You got a book? Another one? I just told you no more books. You can't get any more until you read the ones you have. And it's like, I'm, um, a book person. I don't read the ones I have right away. I get them and then, oh my god, my hair's like crazy to me. I get them and then I read them whenever. So yeah, I got this. And he was like, what? And so he's going to be really angry when he gets home from work today because I went to Barnes & Noble. But he can't be too angry because I got Barnes & Noble gift cards for my birthday, so I spent those. But I spent a little more than what I got on those gift cards as well. So, <laughs> I was sad. But, you know, who cares? Actually, first I'll show you. I forgot about these. My cousin got me a birthday present, and she got me two, two books, and then she got me a gift card. So she got me While He Was Away by Karen Shrek. And I already have this, so I think I'm going to put this... Uh, for giveaway, um, so people on YouTube get first dibs because, you know, I never do a YouTube video, a giveaway, so I think this is just going to be a YouTube giveaway. If you're watching on YouTube, comment down below with your email and, I don't know, a nice comment and I will pick a winner because I never do giveaways. I don't know when it's going to end or because I don't know when I'm going to have money to send it out. I have money right now, but I don't know how long that's going to last, but I'll let it go for a couple weeks and then see when I have time to send it. So if you want this, leave a comment below with your email and stuff and you'll, you'll, you'll be entered to win. And remember, YouTube only. And then the second book she got me was Belonging by Karen Ann Hopkins. I've never heard of this one either, but I saw it today when I went to Barnes & Noble. And I was like, oh, this is the book Amanda got me. And it says at the bottom, he's Amish, I'm not, will love be enough. So that one's really good. Looks like a summer kind of read. Hopefully I'll read it at some point. So now, on to the Barnes & Noble book. I told my mom before we walked in, I was like, Mom, I don't want to get any hardcover books because they're going to be expensive and I don't want to spend that much money. Yeah, I got three hardcover books and, like, two softbacks. Yeah. So, all right, so the first thing I picked up, I saw, was The Raft by S.A. Bodine, which I read when it was as an arc and I loved. And then I realized, oh, my God, she wrote Compound. So I looked and looked and looked, and then I found Compound by S.A. Bodine. So I'm wicked excited to read this because a girl in my fiction writing class was reading this, and I and she loved it. She said she loved it. So, um... And what she read of it, like, she read the back to us and stuff, and she read, like, the first page, and it sounded really, really good, so I wanted to pick it up. So I did. So I got that. And then, the rest, except, oh, no. Oh. And this is a book that I wanted to get so bad, because the movie, I think, the movie might be already out, I can't remember. But I know I wanted to get it so I could start the series in, because I want to see the movie, and that is Beautiful Creatures by... Cammie Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I'm so glad I finally got this. But this is a huge book. But I don't care because it's 
amazing. I love the color. It's so pretty. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, so the last three books are all can either companion novels or series that are adding on to the series. The first book I got was The Rising by Kelly Armstrong. I have the first two and I love them. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, getting it. And I have the first two in hardcover. So that's why I grabbed this in hardcover. But um, it's so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. So I'm not exactly sure when I'll read this, but who knows. For the um, YouTube readathon, one of the challenges is to finish the series, so this might be it. I'm, I'm, I'm determining whether I want it to be this series or um, the Maximum Ride series by James Patterson, because I have the last book in that one, too, that I've had for longer than I've had this, so I don't know. That's... The next book I got was Ever After and Everlasting, uh, the, the sequel to Everlasting by Elizabeth Chandler. If you guys don't know, Kiss by an Angel, which is this one, was... Oh, wait, I don't even think I have Everlasting. I'm pretty sure I have Ever Cross, but I don't think I have Everlasting. That's that's a problem. I probably should have got Everlasting, huh? Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, Kiss by an Angel, which is a bind-up of three books, which I have. I loved. I loved every second of it. And then I got this next book in the series, which is this one, and I love that. And I don't have this one. Maybe I do have it. I can't remember. I'll look, um, and then I'll leave it. And then, I don't know, ask me, and I'll look. <laughs> can't remember. I'll look later and I'll tell you guys if I know. Um, but yeah, so I got this. This is another book in the series. This series, guys, is amazing. If you haven't checked it out, seriously, check it out. It's, oh my god, I love I love it. And and the, the books are um, kind of small. The bind-up is big because it's a bind-up of three books, but the, re the, like, the single books are really small. But they're beautiful. Like, I just love them. And then the last book I got was something everybody's been raving about, and I wanted to get it so bad since it came out. I requested it, but I didn't get it, so I decided to just grab a copy of it. And that is, it's a chunker too. I didn't expect it to be so big because the first book was so small. But it's, This Is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith. I'm so excited! Because I have the statistical probability of it. It's like, oops, and I loved it. So I decided to get this one. It's so big, I didn't expect it to be that big. But I'm really excited to read it. I like the colors too, because you never really see yellowy books. Like yellowy books that look good. And this looks good. So I'm very, very excited for this one. So yeah, that is everything I got this week, guys. Well, actually, I, I can't say that because it's only Sunday and the week hasn't even started yet. So this is all the books I've bought and gotten gifted to me so far this week. There will probably be add-ons. I'm trying, I'm kind of hoping there won't be that many because it's already eight minutes, but you know, what can you say? If there is, there is. Bye. Over. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I know I said I didn't know if I wanted to film more, but I got more books, so I had to film the rest of the video. Jake, stop. Uh, this is Jake. If you guys watched my Friday Reads video, he was in that one, but he was kind of mad, or sad, or tired. He just woken up, so he's... Can you say hi now? Stop, Mom! Hi. Okay, go away. Okay, so the first couple books, this is all books I got in the mail. The first part of the video is books I got um, with the, at my birthday party and the books I bought. So I showed you those ones already. So the first two books I got in the mail this week are both arcs from Around the World Arc Tours, so I have to read them in a week and send them back. First one is This Song Will Save Your Life. And this is annoying. I don't, I, you know, I don't know why you can't put them on the inside. Because you could take the tape off just as easily. I mean, it might, as long as you take it off slow, or even on the back, like down here because I want to see the cover and it's just right there that annoys the crap out of me because it's in all of them anyways this book was really really good so if you want to see a review let me know before Monday because it's going back to its the next it's going to the next person on Monday so so if you want <laughs> so if you want a review let me know before Monday it was so good so definitely check this book out the next book I got that I'm currently reading now is Frigid by Jennifer L. Armentrow writing as Jay Lynn and this is about two college students, and they, and, well, they're best friends, and Sydney, the girl, is in love with her best friend, Kyler, but he's kind of like a man whore, so she said it's, like, impossible for them to be together. So I'm only, I'm only on chapter 10, but it's really, really good so far. Right now they're, like, trapped in a um, snow resort lodge type thing by themselves because their friends didn't make it because of the snowstorm. It's really, really good so far. I'm really loving it. 
so I'm not much far. And this one goes back Wednesday, so by the time I finish it, well, I mean, well, you can tell me if you want a review um, in the comments of this one when I finish it, so I'll, so that I'll know and I'll put it up and I'll take it before Wednesday. So just let me know. And then the last two books this week that I got today, finally, I've been waiting for these two books forever. The first one is Revenge of a Not So Pretty Girl by Car Carlita Blythe. Blythe, I don't know. Um, I won this off of Random Buzzers a long time ago, and it never came. I, was, I got it in, like, February. I won it, and it never came. So I filed the missing order report, and I finally got it. So, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I like this cover. I think it's kind of weird, but I don't know, I guess. It's supposed to be a good book. I wish I could have got it when I won it, though, because it came out in April, and I could have read it before it came out, but oh well. I'm just happy to have it. So, yeah, that's that one. And then the last book, I got my buzz bucks up enough to get another book, so I got... The Year of Luma's Love by Loreline McDaniel. And the reason I grabbed this one is because um, I got one with another book I got from Random Buzzers back a, a few months ago. I got a chapter sampler of this book and it was really good. So I decided So I decided to grab this one. So yeah, I got this is an advanced reader's copy, but it came out in May. So Jake, why are you Okay. It came out in May, so yeah. So, that is all the books I've got this week. I know this is a really, really long video, I'm sorry guys, but it's my birthday week, month, you know, haul, so you guys should do me the favor of my birthday present and just watch the whole thing and then leave me a nice comment. <laughs> Bye guys.